Hi, this is Mike, and I'm going to show you how to create a project folder that you can use as a template. And we created a UX template that can be useful for presentation decks, uh, just for this example. So to start, you're going to want to create a new project. And we have a project here with ha which has some uh, symbols libraries for controls and uh, grid elements, as well as some example pages that are common to um, UX documents. So um, we're going to duplicate this project folder into a new one and uh, give it a name for the project. So this is going to just be Acme Widgets for this example. Then I'm going to open up this project folder and um, let's open up the title page. Um, so there are a bunch of pages here, so I'm going to open up all the other examples. And um, title page is something you can use if you want to have a, a slide at the, at the uh, beginning of your deck. Um, so you would just put this into um, the, the project folder and then change the name. You can put the creation date uh, in there as well as the um, description for what the project is. And um, now we have other pages like this is a journey map. Um, and each of these examples page, example pages have a, a master that you can edit. So you unlock the master, edit it, and it opens up a symbol. Put the project name in there. Um, once you save it and close it, you'll see that the page now has the project name and the title. Um, and you have the mockup name in there because that's using a mockup uh, macro, mockup name macro. There's a couple persona examples you can use, a sitemap ex example, a uh, storyboard, and um, the three different wireframe examples um, for different devices. Um, there's a desktop one, um, tablet, or you know, also useful for desktop, and then a phone, a smartphone one. So now we're going to create a new page, and what I'm going to do is give this page a name, home page, and save it into that. Um, Acme Widgets folder, and once I do that, you'll see that that page now has access to all the symbols, uh, all the controls that we have in this library, um, and to give you a quick peek at what that looks like, if you open up the UX um, controls uh, library, you'll see that there are some markup elements, some form elements, um, and uh, pagination, a video player, and um, just some text elements, and add unit placeholders. All right, so I'm coming back to my blank homepage wireframe, and I'm just going to set it up here. Um, first by uh, putting that page master in place, putting it at 0, zero in, the, in the canvas, and then locking it so it doesn't get in the way. And then next thing I want to do is um, create a, uh, a container for my wireframe. So I'm going to add that UX wireframe desktop symbol. And I'm going to put it around 0, 140 on the canvas to line up with the, uh, the header. And um, if I turn markup uh, on here, you'll see that this container has column units for layout. And um, I'm going to just put a um, notes block in place here. And one thing you might want to do, since you're going to be editing these symbols, is just use the symbol, place it, and then in this case for the note block, you could break the connection, so uh, break it apart. Um, then I'm going to go through, just use a bunch of controls from uh, mockups to start laying this wireframe out. And, and you see with the, um, the columns shown, um, that container, if you toggled markup to be visible, will show you a 12 um, column grid with uh, a margin and uh, some borders in between. Uh, and then you can toggle it off when you're done. So it's just a helper to, to lay out your wireframe um, so it, things line up and look clean. Um, so I'm just going to drop a few controls in here. I'm going to put a hero in. Um, this is like a bootstrap. Um, Jumbotron, for instance. Um, and then just put a bunch of um, smaller content modules, like a heading and three paragraphs or something with a, an action for each. So as you can see, the, the, the 12 column grid helping out here, you just divide it into three, count four columns, and then um, you know, group that bunch of uh, controls and then duplicate it. That's what I'm doing here. And um, you know, the, the symbols that I include in this project, um, they, all, they all just have um, the same font sizes. And this, this is a... Um, 
uh, here I'm, I'm dropping in a bunch of note markers, so I'm going to number those. Um, but the idea with this deck is that you're creating something that you want to have polished to look um, good for your client presentation. So wireframe skin looks, looks good in this case. And there's a finished product for this one page. So that's all there is to creating a template. Uh, hopefully this helps out a little bit.